Hello, my name is Kiyathi and I'm from the Sponsor Relations Group at Frog Force 503, a Novi High School FIRST Robotics team. We're excited to begin our podcast, A Force Forward, where we will discuss careers, tips, and opportunities for FIRST students to gain positions, internships, and co-ops at companies. In this episode, we are joined with Mr. Pospechel, a network engineer at Ford. Thank you for joining us. Hi, great. Thanks, Thanks for having me. <laughs> What skills in FIRST do you think best prepare students in future careers? Well, I, I think there are a lot of obvious technical skills that you learn a, a lot about the engineering process, um, programming, uh, that sort of thing. But I think just as important are a lot of what I would call the soft skills, um, things like teamwork, uh, leadership, how to manage your time, uh, that, that type of thing. It really runs, um, you know, it, it's almost... Any skill you can imagine first is so uh, wide ranging like that. Yeah, I totally agree. I used to be so bad at my communication skills, but after joining first, I really improved on that. Um, for our next question, how favorably do, um, do employers look at first experience? Well, I think that can vary um, by the company, but I would say that it's never a bad thing. I, I know that there are some companies specifically that look for it, like IFI um, is one of them. I know they specifically look for first um, students for internships. Um, but even even a larger company or a company that doesn't necessarily know what first is all about, um, you might just have to explain it to them, but they're going to see the uh, they're going to see the value in the activity, I think, no matter what, even if they're not already, you know, already aware of it. Um, at Ford, we have a, um, a board specifically for FIRST Robotics uh, to promote, uh, well, not to promote, but to support FIRST and, uh, you know, FIRST alumni students. That's really cool. Um, how easy is it to transition from working on CAD and programming on a FIRST competition robot to a full-scale auto company like Ford? Um, so I think that's going to depend. Well, I don't, it, it depends and it doesn't depend. Uh, mm -hmm. It does depend a little bit on the, you know, the specific platform that you use on your first team. So if you get lucky, you might use the exact same CAD software or you might, you know, use the same programming language um, as a, you know, potential employer. Um, but even if you don't, you're learning a lot of the background stuff, a lot of the structure about how um, the program works. Um, every CAD program, every, you know, CAD package is not the same. But there are certain things in common and there are certain things that you learn as far as how to do it. The same thing can go with, um, you know, for, for programming. You might use Java in your first team, but uh, they might use, you know, C++ or something at, at, at work, at the, at the company. But a lot of the background and stuff that you learn is going to do, you know, is going to serve you well going forward. And again, I think even more important than that, uh, a lot of the stuff that you're learning about how to work with other people, how to be part of a team, uh, how to lead, and sometimes how to follow and get along with um, with with others. That sometimes that you you know that you might not agree and, and and see things the same way. How to work under tight deadlines. I think all of those things are going to, you know, are going to uh, do well for you. Mm -hmm. um, what advice do you have for first students who want to land a career similar to yours? Um, uh, so I'm in IT, I'm a network engineer, but I, I'm not a programmer. So yeah. uh, there's no direct um, tie from my position to um, a lot of the, to any of the specific skills uh, on a first team, which is really what, um, which is really what I was, you know, just talking about. Um, it might not translate directly, um, but I think that first and the skills that you learn in first it's it's less about a specific uh technical skill it is than about the other things that you you know that you've learned so you use your time there to uh, make connections and learn how to get things done on a large large team with a lot of uh differing opinions um and you're really going to be building your resume if you can demonstrate that you learned how to you know um lead events or lead a a part of your team uh be a sub group lead or something like that, or um, even uh, specific examples, figuring out a, a, a software bug or troubleshooting a, a, a problem like that. If you can demonstrate those things, those are what employers are looking for, the ability to think through uh, problems like that 
versus a specific um, you know programming language or a specific uh, thing like that. They're looking for the 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 um, the behind you know the the broader range you know talents and and skills. How has first changed your perception of your industry and career? Um, so one thing I've really, you know, learned over the years is that there are some people that are, uh, very good at the technical aspects of their job. And, this, and that can be in almost, uh, any field, but, uh, their career is oftentimes going to be more limited than those who are maybe not as technically strong, but that can work with and manage other people or manage uh, projects. So I kind of keep talking about it. I'm a big fan of those other skill sets um, that the students in first are picking up, even if you don't necessarily realize that you're picking them up or, or how important they are. Mm -hmm. And those skills are like, you need them for any field. So I think that's really good. Um, are there any other fields do you think first experience can benefit students? Yeah, you just said it. It's all of them. Yeah. Um, it, it, um, it's really hard to think of a field where, um, where it, where, where you, you can't learn anything useful as, as part of a first team. Even if you go into something very non-technical, you want to be a chef or, a, you know, you almost can name it. And a lot of those other things that you're going to learn are going to benefit you. Yeah. Um, has FIRST had an increase in presence at universities and companies in the past few years? I think so. I think um, the program has certainly grown since I've been involved, which is about 10 years now, or a little over 10 years now. Um, so obviously the number of students coming through and going on to college grows, and, and I think the recruiters are, are learning you know, that way just by constantly being exposed to it. So that's a, that's a, a good thing, obviously. Um, at uh, or we're constantly constantly looking for ways to increase our involvement with the teams, whether it's um, money or other ways. We try to keep um, we 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 sponsor um, monetarily. We sponsor right around 200 teams. We try to make sure that every one of those teams has a Ford employee that's a mentor of the team, uh, for example. So it's certainly on our um, on our radar. And um, uh, my wife. Uh, she does some recruiting. Uh, she works for Ford and she does some college recruiting and, you know, she'll text me or email me, you know, do you know this person? Or do you know this team? You know, she's always kind of got her ears open for, for first students. Well, that's fantastic. I think. <laughs> um, what is the pathway for students to do co-ops or internship positions with your company? So Ford does offer uh, summer internships for um, college students and even, even high schoolers and not, not so many of those, but, you know, it's certainly, uh, we do have them um, all the time. Uh, this summer uh, excluded, you know, things have changed a little bit recently, but we, you know, we, we, we do have summer internships uh, for um, students. And then those, um, especially the college ones, the college internships can then, uh, at the completion of it, can then lead to a, a full-time job offer through our college graduate program. Mm -hmm. Um, what support or professional development does your company offer for entry-level employees? Uh, so that Ford College Graduate Program that we just mentioned, the FCG oh, program, mm -hmm. yep, that's a structured, um, you know, rotating series of assignments. So you come in and it's and you have a one-year, um, you know, stint at different in different uh, positions, so that you get to be exposed to you know many different aspects of the company. So the idea is to bring people in and within their first years, kind of give them, you know, a big, uh, you know, giant company like Ford uh, to, to give ever, to give you a little bit more of a, or to give you a, a better understanding of the different areas of the company and how different things work and how, you know, marketing is related to sales or how, uh, you know, on the manufacturing side, um, there's, um, there's design and then there's plant operations and there's different things. So they, they go rotate through each of those areas in, um, you know, for like a one year, approximately one year, um, program. So that that's um, designed for those uh, incoming employees to give them um, like a new you know, experience every time or exactly. Yep. To give them exposure to different areas of the, of the company. Yeah. Um, 
We covered a lot of information and we want to be sure we include all areas that are important for our audience to, to know about their career path. Um, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, and um, I'm not sure how popular this is, this is going to be, but I, I heard this somebody say something fairly recently and it really kind of st stuck out to me. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people on first teams talk about all of the great skills they're learning. And it's very impressive that some of this, the students I've seen come through the program, the things that they've learned um, is, is, you know, fairly amazing, not just for a high school student, but for, you know, for anybody, the things that the team, some teams are doing with machine learning and, and programming and vision processing and stuff. It's really impressive. But um, the, the thing that I kind of keep thinking is that uh, in four years, no matter how great the program is, you're not going to learn to be a professional engineer or a programmer in four years. Um, I, I don't think that's what the first program is about. I think it's about helping to um, discover and enforce, you know, um, uh, uh, an appreciation for those skills and, and for students to discover what they uh, might be interested in. So I would suggest while you're, you know, while you're on a first team, if you're there for four years, hopefully use that time to try new things, um, discover what areas might uh, be of interest to you. Um, sure. You know, if, if you, if you know what you want to do and you're absolutely uh, um, set in that path, it's, it's, it's a great idea to stay there, but, you know, don't be afraid to branch out and try new things. Go spend a, you know, depending on how your team operates and if it allows it, go spend a week, you know, working with a different group and just see how um, you like that. So use this time to, to expose yourself to new things and, and, you know, discover what uh, you might do. And, and most importantly, um, don't pass up those leadership opportunities that I'm sure every first team offers. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I really agree with that. First, like, is giving an opportunity for students to make their first, like, learning mistakes and giving them that experience so that in the future they don't make it when it really counts. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Mr. Foss Special, for joining us on A Force Forward. We appreciate you taking the time out of your day for our audience on for and on board. It is helpful to hear best practices that make our audience and can be mindful as they move on through high school and college as they launch their launch into their entry level careers. Thank you to our audience and be sure to join us next time on Frog Force Team 503 Podcast, A Force Forward. Bye. Thanks.